Hello, my fellow scholars. Recently, Google have announced Notebook LM, a personal AI assistant. We can use this Notebook LM for research purposes. And I found it amazing and it works really well. This tool will allow you to create workspaces to organize your research, different ideas. You can create different notebooks, upload various form of documents like PDF, audio files, and many other, even the video files are uploadable in, in this tool. And it can help you to generate table of content, ask any question the way all other AI tools are facilitating. But the good thing about Notebook LM is it's really powerful and you can create different form of reviews with the help of this notebook LM. So it saves your time, summarize information accurately, quickly, and it also helps you to read from all the documents and research articles we upload. And on top of it, you can work on multiple ideas at the same time. I found this amazing and I will help you to understand how we can use notebook LM for research purposes. So this video is for you. Let's learn how we can do it on PC. In this video, we will learn about the Notebook LM, Google new AI tool. It's amazing and we will see how we can use it and what are the basic functionalities of this tool and how we can use it for our JD review or any other analysis. Uh, this tool is, is being developed for being your personal assistant, no matter whatever work you do. But uh, let's see how we can use it for our research purposes. This is the interface. You can just click on try it for free and the Google will give you access to uh, Notebook LM. The concept of Notebook LM is you can create different workspaces where you can create different documents. For example, if I'm working on two or three different research articles so I can create different notebooks and in each uh, notebook I can work on a particular topic or particular data set which I'm going to upload. So this is the first interface you can see I have created a few notebooks but uh, you can learn from these example notebooks here. We can quickly go to this tab a new notebook and create a new notebook. This can give you option to upload documents it can work on all type of documents and all different audio and video files. I'll be using a set of 55 research articles which I have extracted from Scopus based on the criteria we were using in our videos. Five articles were inaccessible so I have uploaded now these 50 research articles. This is the main idea I'm working on. It's basically uh, leveraging AI for enhanced risk management in global supply chain. So technically, the research literature was conducting a hearing RISMA guideline and initial search yielded 200 research articles from Scopus and Web of Sciences database following rigorous quality assessment and application of pre-defined inclusion and exclusion criteria. A final selection of 55 articles was made. Now, this is for systematic literature review articles. So we have 55 research articles which I have uploaded in notebook. So the idea is this leveraging AI for enhanced risk management in global supply chain. So to just keep in mind and we will see how Notebook LM can help us. You have seen that all research articles are uploaded now. We can work in different ways. You can see this is Notebook LM uh, interface. I give this notebook a name uh, AI for risk management in global supply chain. Let's see how uh, AI is being used for risk management in uh, supply chain especially. So once we upload everything, you can see that uh, the system is already giving me a summary. The provided sources examine the application of artificial intelligence in supply chain, particularly focusing on risk management. So you can see that it is automatically detecting from the data I have uploaded and giving me a, a complete summary of the data. So that's very amazing, very important summary, but that will give us the description or uh, maybe key characteristics of your data or the, the themes or the areas included within this data set. So this is amazing tool. I love that it completely follows the workflow we are planning to work with. So that's why it's, it's really amazing tool for all researchers. Let's try to look at some of the possibilities which we can get through this AI tool. The first is you can 
ask it to create frequently asked questions, study guide, table of content, timeline, or a briefing document. So these are simple prompts which is already being available and you can quickly work with this. It is giving you some suggestions. So what is the role of AI in mitigation supply chain risks? Obviously, that's one of the best option, um, best question we can ask. Uh, how does Acura Zone improve the accuracy of uh, COVID-19 mortality rate prediction? That is an uh, uh, AI tool which helps us to manage the risk. How can the construction industry is in Taiwan improve its supply chain sustainability? So you can see that it is giving you different suggestions and questions. The interface is really nice, very good interface. We can work with this amazing tool. Now, Let's continue working and exploring this tool. So we can ask this question. For example, I can ask a simple question. What is the role of AI in mitigating supply chain risks? So let's see how this AI tool will work from these all documents and it will give us output. This is an amazing output. Fantastic because it gives us a different options. But at the same time, it gives us a uh, the links to those documents from where this data is being collected and also from the particular paragraph or from that particular page where this data is being extracted. So let, let's try to understand the, uh, this output. So the source is several insights in how AI can play a crucial role in mitigating supply chain risk. So first is risk identification and prediction. So AI can predict risk and identify potential risk. So this is where you can see the AI, particularly machine learning technique, can analyze vast data sets and identify patterns and correlation might indicate potential risks. So a clear text and it's, it's really, really good output, but I'm, I'm interested in from where this information is being extracted. So if you click on this number, you will see that it is giving you reference to that particular research article. But not just this, if you click on this number, it will give you from where this information is being extracted. So you can see that this is the research article. You can easily uh, read more detailed uh, out finding from that particular research. That's amazing tool which can help us. Uh, and there are many, so many features and amazing strengths in sending the content and reading from those content. It's, it's excellent. So let's move on. So it, it is me. First is uh, risk identification. Uh, decision support and uh, automation, resilience enhancement. So all these are different options or different methods through which we can uh, minimize risk in supply chain. So all these are based on the data we provided to Notebook. So it's amazing tool. We can work with, with this tool and we can uh, try to identify different themes and different uh, aspects of our research. So there is no limitation within this tool, but also we need to learn how we can use it within our workflow. So let's try to learn how we can use it within our workflow. So you are familiar with the functionalities. Now it's very simple, very clear interface, and it gives you all uh, references and everything which we need for writing a research article. So let's continue working with this tool and try to understand how we can work with this tool within our workflow, which is we are writing a systematic literature review. So I'm interested in identifying few themes. So I want very simple prompt for the first time uh, because I'm, I'm planning to export different key themes or key clusters in my research. So let's see research themes. Let's see on the use of AI in supply chain risk management. So let's see how this notebook will respond to this query. So you can see the key research themes in supply chain for risk management. It gives me developing and implementing AI-based framework for comprehensive supply chain risk management. This is first one. Uh, we can create different you know, uh, AI-based frameworks to manage risk in supply chain improving the explainability and transparency of AI-based risk management tools, leveraging AI for proactive risk identification and early warning systems, exploring the use of AI in specific risk management tasks, for example, supplier selection, network design, or all this, investigating the integration of AI with other technologies to enhance risk management, that's perfect. 
कि एड्रेसिंग द चैलेंजेस ऑफ इम्प्लीमेंटिंग ए आई इन सप्लाई चेन रिस्क मैनेजमेंट सो नाउ यू कैन सी दैट इट इज़ क्लियरली आइडेंटिफाइंग डिफरेंट थीम्स एंड डिफरेंट ऑप्शन फॉर मी एंड इट इज नॉट ऑल्सो थीम्स विच आर फ्राम दीज डिफरेंट रिसर्च आर्टिकल बट इज ऑल्सो गिविंग मी द लिंक्स टू दोज रिसर्च आर्टिकल फ्राम वेयर हैव एक्सपेक्टेड द इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट्स अमेजिंग and it's really good tool so let's try, try to identify a table from all these research articles so we can do this by uh, asking ai tool to create a, a table for all 50 articles or maybe we can work in a smaller group but first let's try to work with some tables how we can create these tables with uh, notebook ll okay so creativity plays a major role because uh, you know your content better and you need to drive this ai tool to get the the specific or the desired output which we want to develop from this uh, prompt so give it the, the prompt with create a table containing article title year authors key finding constructs method use sample and maybe or let's say limitations so let's try it. we have uh, our desired table here is the literature table based on the provided sources that addresses your request so this is article title year authors then the key finding constructs method use sample and limitation now you can see our workflow usually we download these articles and our major work is based on the article we have downloaded so this is where we can ask this ai tool to help us to work within those A research article to summarize them to create themes to uh, create those different tables and charts or if you have any data extracted from any other sources notebook lm is a really really good tool for you to help uh, in terms of uh, learning from those data sets creating some tables charts or any framework you want to work 